Hey, what is up everybody? It's Zero here and today I'll be showing you guys how to make some super awesome quick and easy to make low poly rocks that you can guys can add to your terrain and your games to make it a bit more detailed and just look all around cooler. So first thing you're going to need to do is hop into Blender which is where we're going to be making these rocks. If you saw my how to make a low poly tree video, you'll know that you'll should know how to import meshes if you just hit shift a go to mesh and then select which one you want today we'll be importing an icosphere if you go into the bottom left you can see subdivisions it should spawn in at two when you first do it i recommend changing this down to one as for rocks it just makes it easier to work with now raise it up a bit and we're gonna once we have it selected we're gonna press tab to go into edit mode if everything's selected, we're going to press A to deselect. And then down here, we're going to select this little box. And you should be able to see all your vertices now, even through through your object. Now we're going to press B to get a rectangle select tool and select all these lower half vertices. Now we're going to move them up a bit. Press A to deselect. Select the very bottom one and level it out with the other bottom ones. So now if we click this again, so we go back in the normal view, we should have this so far. Although it doesn't look too rocky, you can use this. Now is when we will be adjusting it and modifying them in different styles. Let's so say we could like lower this a bit and then press A to deselect. If we hold shift to select all three of these, we could drag it out a bit to make a bit of an extended rock. If we copy and paste that, we could drag it over here and then um, go back into edit mode and just if we want to we could drag these ones back like so that we could like I don't know make it a little bit taller over here well, that doesn't really work but like you get the gist of it you can pretty much just play around with the vertices until you get something that looks how you want your rock style to look so I'm just gonna delete one of these and use this one we'll bring the other one back later you can click file export wavefront.obj and then pick where you want to export your thing to I keep mine in a, all in a folder in my documents called blender files and tutorial folder I can do rock1 obj now if I just undo to bring this one back delete this one again because we're exporting them as separate meshes so we can have the rock separate export as obj again rock 2 now we have our rocks made and exported now we're gonna need to hop on over to Roblox studio so what you're gonna want to do here is right click insert object and then select a mesh part once you have your mesh part in the game, you're going to need to go over to your properties window, which can be opened by clicking this properties button in the view tab. Click mesh ID, uh, click this folder when it pops up, and then go find your meshes that you just made wherever you saved them in your files. Once you select it, click open. You should get a few pop-ups, just click no to anything that pops up. And there you go, now your rock is in Roblox Studio. You can duplicate this one with control D and open up the other rock file. No, now we have two cool low poly rocks. We can scale these differently as much as we want in studio now. So we could make it like this again, like this. If we want to, we could drag this back down a bit. So you can resize them once you're in studio. All I do suggest getting the like basic shape that you want in blender but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it you can make some pretty nice assets for your game like this that you can use to add some detail to your maps like for example uh, over here this is the little thing I put together for my how to make a tree thumbnail you can just I can just distribute some of these evenly around the map Maybe put like one here, 
one right here, another one down here. Seeing that already just makes it look that much better, just having some rocks scattered around. So that's it. If you don't have Blender installed, I'll be leaving a link to download Blender in the description. I'll also be leaving a link to my how to make a low poly tree video, where you can see how to make trees like these if you want to learn how to do that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.